Here's part three, folks. Currently in a double jeopardy round. Physics for a thousand. Let's take a look at the answer. The standard unison measure for electrical current is named for this French physicist. Contestant number one. Oh no. Sorry. That's incorrect. I'm out of nine I'm the negative nine hundred. Contestant number three. Let's see Robin knows it. Is it Ampere? Andrew Maria Ampere, yep. Yes. Select again. Is it that one on Ampere? See what Robert selects next. Physics for six hundred. This is of three atoms. What is an example of the, a triatomic one of these outer at mo units? What is a molecule? Contestant number one. Yes. Yes. That's correct. I'm getting out of the hole, slowly. The sun is for 800. For $800? When certain substances are cool near absolute zero, lose electrical resistance and become these. Not too sure about this. number two. Let's see if Cindy knows it. I haven't heard her answer for a while. Superconductors. I'm gonna put the charger in because my laptop battery is kind of running low. Okay. Let's see what Cindy selects next. For two hundred dollars. The original title of this Eric Marquis Marmarick novel was in West Western Nick's Ness Nemesis. Contestant number two. Let's see if Cindy knows it. All is quiet on the west on the western front. Right. Okay. That one now is four hundred dollars. A popular this eighteenth century Scotsman said the black dwarf in eighteenth century Scotland. Contestant number two. Let's see if Cindy can get it. Oh, she does not know. Sorry, that's incorrect. <laughs> so Walter Scott. Okay. Now one dollars for a thousand dollars. This author of the octopus set of his work, I told him the truth. <laughs> Frank Norris. Furniture for eight hundred. An upholstered chair was named for this place, the drowsy center of a Washington Irish Washington Irving story. Hmm. Not too sure about this one. I don't think it's a laughing chair. Sleepy Hollow, okay. Furniture for six hundred dollars. An angel bed usually has one of these suspended and doesn't extend to the bed's full length. Not so sure about this one either. A canopy. City quotes for th 600. For 600 dollars. Nietzsche said as the artist of man has no Europe, no home in Europe save in this city. Contestant number three. I'm thinking Paris. 
It was Paris. Yes, that's correct. I have to find my way out of this hole. City quotes for eight hundred. Eight hundred dollars. On June twenty sixth, nineteen sixty three, JF said, "All free men, whenever they may live, are citizens of this city." Contestant number three. Let's see if Robert can get it. He's got a command lead, fifty seven hundred. Berlin. Okay. That's right. Yes. Select again. Greece for a thousand. Thousand dollars. The answer there is. In 1981, this former U.S. citizen was elected premier. Contestant number three. It was Andreas Pap Papandreou. Correct. Never heard of that person. City calls for two hundred dollars. The answer is when falls the Colosseum, this city shall fall, and with it falls the world. Let's try. What is Rome? Is it right? Yes, yes it is. That's correct. You know, minus one hundred. Uh, city calls for four hundred. For four hundred dollars. Magic honor called this British University city the sweet city with her dream inspires. I'll try it. Contestant number three. Oh, player three beat me to it. I think it's Oxford. It was Oxford. Oxford, England. Okay. Huh, so the whole thing. I'm just gonna say that. Yes. That's correct. City quotes for a thousand dollars. The answer there is Oliver went to the homes that says this city state house is the hub of the solar system. Contestant number two. I want to say Cape Cod. Boston. Okay. Right. Can I need to get at least one more clue right? Now well, now let's for eight hundred dollars. Let's take a look at the answer. Bruce Gold is the title character of this Joseph Heller satire on American values. Contestant number two. Let's see if Cindy can get it. Good as gold. That makes sense. Yes. Select again. Furniture for two hundred dollars. Here is the clue. A trivia is a combination of a wardrobe and a chest of these. Uh, I don't know. Contestant number three. Drawers. Correct. Okay. I gotta get out of this hole. Furniture for a thousand. For a thousand dollars. The answer there is. The photo Savalola chair of the Renaissance had a frame shape like this consonant. I want to say C. Mm -hmm. Religion of the $400. He used Lee's resolution of Virginia's Bill of Rights for the Declaration of Independence. Contestant number one. I think it was Th uh, Thomas Jefferson. 
I do have this right and somebody will stop for We'll start for part three and I'll see you guys for part four. Yes. Yes, that's correct. Out of the hole. Okay, stay tuned guys for part number four.